Tom Gage of the Detroit News is a senior baseball writer in Detroit, a man who has great affection for Tiger Stadium. Tom, you've covered this team 21 years for our newspaper, and so you have a little different perspective than, than a lot of people. You look at this ballpark now, it's going. What are your feelings about Tiger Stadium? Well, I love Tiger Stadium. And the, the uh, time I love it the most is when I'm done working and I don't take the elevator down. I take the steps down instead, and the place is empty, and, it, and it's absolutely beautiful. But uh, it is time. It's time. It's, uh, it's had a, a great run, but it's uh, a little rickety now. What has it meant to you to be a baseball writer in that press box looking down at all of these games? Because you've seen probably more games than anybody in Detroit from a, from a media standpoint in the last 21 years. I'm probably doing the job I always wanted to do, Joe. I, it, it, when I was a kid, I used to play baseball games and write a little story. I mean, in baseball board games with spinners and write a story afterwards. And uh, I can't say that when I was a kid, I would look up at the press box and say, that's where I want to be. But I'm doing what I, I think I w always wanted to do. And I've probably sat in the same chair now for 21 years and had the same vantage point for 21 years. And, it, and, the, and the new place is going to seem strange because... People say you don't get any kind of perspective from up there, but I've, I've kind of gotten trained my eye to know what's going out and what isn't going out. It's, it's, it's high up. We're kind of above the clouds up there. After so many years, you consider it almost a second home. You, you've told me many times about your experience of your first game at Tiger Stadium, and uh, I got a kick out of it. Well, the first game at Tiger Stadium... <laughs> Involved. This was this was in 1976, and I filled in for Danny Wald, who had who had left to take another job, and I went up to Ralph Hauk, and Ralph Hauk was, of course, kind of a gruff guy, and he was uh, especially tough on on rookie writers, and uh, he was talking about John John Hiller being out on the mound, and uh, said, and uh, he said, well, I thought he was getting tired. And my first question as a major league beat writer said, well, when did you think he was start getting when when did you think uh, he was getting tired? How the heck should I? And he started yelling at me, and I, you, I thought, oh boy, my career is not going to last long. And uh, he apologized, as Ralph always did. You know, he would bark at you in public and apologize in private. You know, at that moment, I thought, oh, I'm not going to last. I'm not going to last a month, let alone 20 years. My favorite place to, to sit was in the overhang, though, in right field, because, and I, I never caught a, the only foul ball I ever got was when Gates Brown hit one through with the exit, and I was standing in line to get a hot dog, and it landed at my feet. <laughs> I, I positioned myself all over the place trying to, trying to, uh, to get a foul ball. <laughs> Finally, one came to me, but uh, I, the overhang was a great seat. 